Thank you, President. Thank you, Executive Vice President, for tackling this important issue here. I believe the protection of strategic infrastructure cannot just be expected from the executive branch of government. We need an all-of-society effort to deal with the integrated multi-actor activities from the Chinese side. In that regard, I think it's important to raise awareness of the public. I think the Commission should look into opportunities for supporting, for instance, mapping efforts by academia or think tanks that would help raising awareness. Also, I believe that oftentimes on the local level, there's a lack of China competency. In twinning relationships, small towns of below 100,000 inhabitants are twinned with several million uh, inhabitants in a big Chinese metropolis. They could be overwhelmed. So there should be uh, efforts to enhance their China competency to deal with these issues. And finally, the EU cannot impose a European uh, stra port strategy, but the European Union can support efforts by national actors, by regional actors to coordinate. And there we have not been doing what we should be doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Executive Vice President. I think this is a, this is a very interesting uh, perspective. Um, I myself have been thinking more about this sort of outside of the European Union uh, to make sure that there is a counter offer to the Chinese offer, uh, for instance, when it comes to digital infrastructure. Uh, and that counter offer from our side uh, should be an offer both to invest in, in infrastructure, but also to invest in digital governance in a way that reflects our democratic values. Uh, when it comes to uh, within the Union, I think this is, a, uh, I think it is a fair point, uh, both to make sure that, uh, that more people uh, have the awareness, that media have uh, expertise uh, to, uh, to call upon uh, when they want to do uh, articles, uh, I don't know the state uh, of China research uh, within the Union uh, or how that is made available, but I would be more than happy uh, to come back with this because I think awareness uh, is a very important point. Uh, and also the awareness that nothing comes for free. Uh, if you take Chinese investment and that is seemingly for free, you should look at what is written with small letters as you should do with every contract. Danke, Herr Bütikofer, eine Zusatzfrage? Thank you. Have you got a follow-up? Additional remark. Some member states, like the Dutch or the Swedish, have invested into creating uh, national China competency centers or different institutions that help creating that competency that we need on all, le on all societal levels. And I think it would be helpful if Commission could uh, put some effort into propagating those shining examples. Thank you. I, I completely take the point. Um, uh, my guess, but that is a guesstimate, uh, is that uh, my colleague responsible for research could give you a full uh, uh, mapping uh, of what is going on in Europe and, and what is being supported. Uh, I am sure that we can do more, uh, maybe also to, to connect uh, the different environments and to make them more visible, uh, both to uh, journalists, uh, to, to press and media, but also to uh, individual citizens. So, uh, point taken, uh, and be more than happy to come back to this.